name is Alicia Jade and welcome back to my channel. That introduction was way more energetic than I feel right now. Um, I look like a pea head because phew, I just can't deal with getting ready or doing my hair. I am going skiing for the first time in about 15 years, no less than that, in about 12 to 13 years, on Saturday and I have about half an hour right now before I need to pop out to get all my skiing stuff out of the attic and find out what I've got, potentially try it on <laughs> and pack it into suitcases. So the first step is to get up into ooh, my attic. Um, this is currently what it looks like. Uh, it's an absolute mess but that over there is all of my skiing stuff. I think I'm going to get this suitcase out. It has coats and things in it now, but I'll take those out and put those in something else. And then I'll use this suitcase with the matching mini one. Um, and these are my ski boots. So, these are my ski boots. I bought them on eBay for £40, I think it was. And they're really good. I just didn't, I don't know, like, well, obviously when I used to go skiing as a kit, I used to just hire them. But it's just something about having your own stuff that I liked. What's this? Right, well that's a ski suit. What's this? Oh my goodness. I forgot I bought all of this stuff. So we're flying like business or something else. Um, and we get two big cases instead of one. I genuinely don't think I'm gonna get all of this in two big suitcases. That's another ski suit. That is a spare suitcase. I hate that suitcase there. It does like weird things with the wheels. Anyway, ski trousers. I'm like throwing them all down. Oh no, my ski suit has a rip in it. I don't know when that happened. It's really annoying. I freaking love this suit. I wonder if it'll rip more or if I can get it fixed. It's like synthetic stuff though. We'll see. I won't throw that one. More brand new ski stuff. More brand new ski stuff. More brand new ski stuff. Basically, I bought this all um, in lockdown. No, before lockdown, so we were supposed to go skiing in March of 2020, and obviously that never happened. So, yeah, uh, still got everything. Right, let's chuck all this stuff down. Well, this is interesting. <sighs> that was really hard to get down. <sighs> oh, so heavy. I also found all of my winter coats. Here is my teddy coat. I ended up buying this teddy coat because I thought I didn't have one. But I just found that, so that's annoying. There's also like three more winter coats in here. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put all of those because I don't actually want them in the loft because I forgot I had them. Okay, let's have a go at sorting this mess out. I might actually take this coat because it is very warm and it's very cozy. So this is a possibility to take with me. I also could take this because it might squish down. And then I've got my new Holland Cooper beautiful dog tooth coat. I got this for Christmas um, because one of my Christmas presents didn't arrive in time because it's limited edition and really hard to get hold of. Um, it's ordered and paid for, but it didn't arrive. So this is my interim Christmas present until my other one turns up in about March. <laughs> but this I'm going to wear to the airport, I think. So that one doesn't need to be packed. This is staying here. These, oh, these can stay here. Um, right. Let's start packing. Right, I'm gonna do the big suitcase first and see what I can fit in there. I'm gonna do my ski boots first. I might stuff things in them at some point, like uh, socks and things. 
I'm going to do these. What way are the wheels here? I'm going to do these first. They look like this, by the way. I'm very, very pleased with these. Oh, hi, Dusty. Um, £40 on eBay. They really haven't been worn that much. Um, I used to go skiing a lot as a kid. And I remember what all of this equipment used to look like when you hired it and everyone had used it for like a whole season. So they really haven't been used that much. So I can get rid of that box. Now I've got this black, uh, what's it called? Like jumpsuit type thing with trousers. Bought this off eBay for like £12 absolute bargain stuff that in there this is the only thing with going skiing and ski stuff is that everything takes up so much room because it's all like huge and puffy this I have never worn or opened as you can see I hope all this stuff fits because I bought it like two years ago so I have absolutely no way to return it Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is like shopping again. I forgot I had all this stuff. <gasps> How beautiful. This was from the Topshop Snow Collection. I don't even know if they do this stuff anymore. But this is the Topshop Snow Collection. I'm pretty sure I bought like matching sets in some things. But this is the jacket. Love this. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. Stuff that. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be difficult. Then what's in here? Salopettes. So we've got some funky ski leggings. Can't wait to wear those. Absolutely obsessed. Yeah. Definitely glad I got those. I think there was something matching those, or do they go with that jacket? I can't remember. Put those in there. I would try it on, but I have absolutely zero time to do that. So I'm going to do that when I'm there and pray to the skiing gods that everything fits. I mean, I have options. Oh my god, here's the matching stuff. <gasps> There's literally still the order notes in here. This is the matching jacket. Oh my god. I have way too much skiing stuff. I went a little bit overboard. I think I ended up spending about, I don't know, how much is each? Well, this jacket was £110, so I think I must have spent like £500 on the Top Shop skiing stuff. Never worn it and never tried it on because COVID. <gasps> this is the Oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited in a video before. <laughs> this is the matching jacket that goes with the leggings, and I am freaking obsessed. I, oh my god, I'm going to have a different outfit every day. I have enough outfits to go skiing for a month. Right, let's put this in this side, and then I can stuff small bits in the other side as well. And what is this? I think this is like a onesie. Yes, there we go. So, which way around? This is like a one piece suit. Do you know what? I was actually just going to buy one of these for skating, but I'm gonna wear this one. So this is like a one piece and it's got top shop like ribbon around the back, ribbon elastic. And then on the straps, no idea where or how I'm going to wear it. I might wear it with like a roll neck top underneath so that I can just wear it like that. Because to be honest, a lot of the time you get really hot and you don't want like huge bulky clothes on. What's in here? Aha, beanie hat. I'm not gonna put it on now because it will look awful with my hair like this. Beanie hat, so that's accessories that can go there. Uh, what else? Oh. Aha! These are the ski trousers that go with that jacket. Does everybody else buy this much ski stuff or is it just me? 
This is the trousers to match that jacket, the salopettes, so that's going to be a nice matching outfit. So I've got two matching outfits, one all in one, one black trousers. I think I have more outfits than I do days skiing. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Oh, gosh. What the hell is this? <laughs> okay, what's the time? Oh, I've got 15 minutes. My God. I'm going to have to do some more of this when I come home, but at least I'll have most of it done. I have no idea what this is, but it's very bright. This is another jacket. I have one, two, three, four skiing jackets and one all in one. Well, like with a jacket, the other all in one doesn't have a jacket, but this this was £110 as well. In all fairness, £110 for a ski jacket is really good. Like, really good. Dusty, can you... Thank you. Ah, under layer. So just a little thermal top to go underneath. So that can very easily stuff in there. I think this is the same. Yeah, this is just one of my old ones. Just a little cream. I could wear this under the other suits, the bodysuit thing. So I was looking for some vintage fur hats. So I have my vintage fur coats. I don't really wear them much anymore because fur is such a taboo topic, but I would never buy brand new fur. I never have done, I don't think. Um, and I just find it really sad that all these beautiful coats um, would just be thrown away just because people can't differentiate wearing vintage and wearing new. It just makes me sad. And also, I had a workshop with one of my clients um, and there was a panel of sustainability fashion experts and they were saying how if people don't dispose of a real fur coat properly, it's actually worse for the environment than just wearing it. <laughs> so those were all in the loft, um, but I was going to find hopefully some uh, nice vintage fur hats because I just feel like instead of constantly buying new stuff, I'd rather buy vintage stuff and fur is really warm. But I couldn't find any that would make it here on time, so I walked past a charity shop yesterday and in the window they had three faux fur but the exact style I wanted, hats, so I grabbed all three. I think I paid like £2.50 for each hat. Yeah, £2.50. So this is the first one. I did post these on my story, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen these, but that's the first one. So let's try and squeeze them in here somewhere. You can go there. The second one is more like a round-shaped one. Uh, that can probably squeeze in there. This one I might have to put somewhere else, or I might just have to wear it. Can you wear hats at the airport? Mind you, it doesn't really go with my coat. I suppose maybe if I squish it like this, it will go back. Let's do it like that. Anyway, I didn't even show you. <laughs> this is a leopard print, like, round trilby style hat. I just loved this. This would be great for, like, going out for dinners and things like that. So, obviously, I have my helmet for when I'm actually skiing. There's some more headbands and things in there, but I don't think I need them. Like, I think I have enough in this. So let's try and zip this up. Right. Case number two. Obviously, I need to do my, uh, like, normal clothes and accessories and, like, daytime clothes and things like that. But to be honest, I probably could wear that ski stuff, but I'm not going to. I need to put in some more big stuff, which I'm slightly worried about. Um, my goggles are new. I bought them for the trip last time. Again, we didn't go. Ow, that hurts. Uh, so maybe if these come out the box, that's better. They're from Oakley. Uh, I went to the shop to try lots of pairs on but they're just like big iridescent rainbow vibe ones love them snow boots i've had these snow boots since i was about 15 years old as well and i bloody love them they are like cracking a bit 
I fear this may be their last outing. But, yeah, because they're coming apart on the inside as well. But, I am happy to replace them with some beautiful moon boots that I keep seeing everyone wearing. If this is their last trip. So I'm going to take some snacks. I'm going to take Saurine. I've got these little protein flapjack things. I don't know if we have a microwave, but I'm going to take some popcorn anyway. And some high protein porridge for my breakfasts. Obviously they will have shops and things in France, but I don't know what kind of protein stuff they have. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take some protein powder and I bought like a little blender, portable blender thing. So I will show you that during the skiing vlog, but this is just a few t snacks I'm going to take. I'm going to put them in here and then pop them in the suitcase. So skincare wise, I'm just going to pop things in a few little bags that I've got. So this one I'm going to do as my um, like wash bag. Obviously floss stick things because floss your teeth kids. Uh, I've So far I've got this body wash which came in my Liberty Advent Calendar. This is the Bamford Citrus Hand and Body Wash. And I've just got some L'Occitane Foot Cream because why not? So I will take, I don't need all of these, maybe just one. A face wash to take with me, what's that? That's a cleanser, so maybe that, but that's quite big. I wonder if there's any smaller ones. Cleanse, toner, that's a Penhaligon's one. Oh, Zoella, I love Zoella stuff. Maybe I'll take this one. How much is left? That should be enough. Let's use up the rest of that one. So let's take the Zoella one. Penhaligons can go back. Then other skincare wise, I think I might take this moisturizer just because it's really easy to pack. That was also from my Liberty Advent Calendar. And then I just need like a nice serum. Hmm, let's have a look. That's a nice vitamin C one. It's from Skin... Oh God, Skin Chemists. It's a nice vitamin C collagen serum, so maybe that. Okay, so this is the point I start to wonder whether I actually know what packing for the amount of days you're staying means, but we're gonna go with it. No idea whether I'm gonna need this or want this, but it's a cardigan and it shrinks down to basically nothing when folded up, so why not? And then I have this in the style Lorna Lux. Is it Lorna Lux? I can't remember, I think so. Just really long jumper dress. Um, just a good snuggly jumper. I like that one, so let's do that as well. I think I'm almost done. Oh, I got a huge bag of these like velour velvet head scrunchies. Oh, my brain's not working these scrunchies from somewhere, I don't even know where, but I'm just gonna take a few spare because you can never have too many scrunchies. So I'm just gonna take a couple of those and they can just stuff in here. But other than that, I think that's about all I'm going to take. Obviously I'll take my makeup and things like that, but that will all go in my carry-on. There's still a bit of space in here, so if I think of anything that I've missed, I can fit it in. But I think I've been through pretty much every drawer. I'll take a couple of pairs of, uh, pair of, hmm, pairs of sunglasses and some perfumes and things. Ah, these. So obviously I'm obsessed with Penhaligons, we all know this, but they do, in the Discovery sets, they have some like mini bottles, but they're just pour bottles. So they're not, you can't travel with them, you can't take them anywhere, and I find them really annoying to like dab on me, I don't know why, I just find it really annoying. So I bought these three little, these are from Amazon, they're about six pound, just tiny like travel atomizers, and all you do is screw, unscrew the top, I've put this in there now, but all you do is unscrew the top, pour in the perfume, and then, yeah, got some cute ones. So I put three different mini Penhaligons scents in these and what's good about these is the Penhaligons ones are 5ml and these are 5ml so they kind of fit perfectly. Anyway, I will be doing a skiing vlog. I don't know whether this is split into two or one depending on how much content I can get 
and how many things I can film. I don't know how I'm going to film up a mountain. I will probably just do that with my phone and then that's really annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fiddling with those. Yeah, no idea what kind of content I'm going to get. I'm, as you can probably tell, I'm quite stressed because I have a psychology deadline a week after we get back. It was supposed to be two days afterwards, but I did get an extension because of Christmas. Uh, so yeah, a week after we get back, I've got a deadline and also just work and also just, oh, I have a skating lesson tomorrow morning as well. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been mildly enjoyable. It forced me to pack. So thanks for that. But thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which will be my skiing vlog. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.